this way to bear country. You'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama. Papa. Sister. Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Big Bob Bear. Professor Oak. Oh, uh -huh. hey, honey, Bob I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. Your crossword puzzle, Mama. Thank you, dear. Comics, movies, crosswords, utter fiddle faddle. I read the Daily Grizzly to be informed about Earth chattering world crises. Oh my gosh! Some kind of crisis? Is it serious? Darn tootin' it's serious. Tomorrow's the annual Bear Country Pumpkin Carving Contest. Hot diggity! I'm going all out for the grand prize of spookiest pumpkin. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Now, Papa, you're getting a bit carried away. Certainly no need to go overboard. You bet I'm going overboard. I fully intend to get carried away. That's how I'm going to leave all the other contestants in the dust. Yep, your Papa's pumpkin will be so spooky, it'll turn a strong bear's knees to jelly. Come tomorrow, I'm going to win, win, win. Papa. Must you always be so competitive? After all, winning isn't everything. Need I remind you of that great philosopher Grizz Lombardi who said, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Grizz Lombardi? Really, Papa? He was a football coach, not a philosopher. What's the difference? So long as he agrees with me, I'll pick me the biggest and best pumpkin in bear country. Then I'll carve the spookiest pumpkin ever and win the grand prize. Wait for us, Papa. It, um, what for? We're going to pick our pumpkins so we can enter the contest, too. Not so fast. If I let you two have pumpkins, it'll mean more competition for the prize. And Papa, keeping your own cubs out of the contest? Talk about the will to win run wild. Don't worry, Pop. We're not trying for the spookiest pumpkin. I'm going for the prettiest pumpkin. Yeah, and I want mine to be the funniest pumpkin. Well, in that case, sure, come along. But nobody else is going to get any of my precious pumpkin. Why's that, Papa? They're my secret weapon for winning the grand prize. My pumpkin patch has the only big, fat, fine pumpkins left in bear country. I can't lose. But what about Farmer Ben's pumpkins? Farmer Ben sold all his good pumpkins to the pumpkin pie factory. So all he's got left are scrawny, misshapen ones. Hardly worth whittling. <laughs> Papa, please. Must you be so unsporting? It's a bad example for the cubs. Tut, tut. All's fair in love, war, and pumpkin carving contests. Oh, that bear. What a pumpkin! Just wait. You're gonna frighten the living daylights out of the judges. <laughs> we found great pumpkins. I'm gonna carve a real goofy face. Look at mine, Papa. It'll make such a pretty princess. Yeah, sure, uh-huh. Very good. Well, now you run along home. But, Papa, can't we come inside? Inside? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Cubs, but uh, Operation Pumpkin is a top secret project. They can't afford any leaks. Highly classified. But who's going to help us carve our pumpkin? Come on. We'll ask Mama. Well, I suppose you can trust her. The one never knows. There are spies all over the place. You can't be too suspicious. I, even the walls have eyes. What? That not whole blink. Beady, sinister spy eyes. And that one looked particularly shifty. <laughs> huh? 
Say, whose side are you on anyway? We just wanted to see what you were doing. Sorry, Papa. Well, get on home and tell Mama not to wait up for me. Until I finish carving my pumpkin, this workshop is off limits. You lucky pumpkin could have wound up pie filling. After I finish spooking you up, you'll give all Bear Town the heebie jeebies. This is the messy part. Ugh. If I can carve a pumpkin as spooky as these insides, I can't lose. Ugh. This'll take some careful planning. Hmm. It'd be a cinch to carve it into a hairy zombie. <laughs> nah, not scary enough. I know. A scuzzy vampire. <laughs> not bad. But not bad enough. I've got it! I'll carve it into a creepy boogie bear. Whoa! Any one of those would be spooky enough to win the prize. That's it! I'll combine them all together. Genius. Pure genius. I'm going to have the spookiest pumpkin in Bear Town. Dear me, Papa's locked himself up in his workshop for hours. I really ought to take him some dinner. I don't know, Mama. He was pretty serious about keeping it top secret. Top secret from his own family? You're a papa. Well, how are your pumpkins coming along? Mine's almost finished. Does it look okay? It's as pretty as a princess. Do you think my pumpkin looks too goofy? Oh, not at all. It's very funny. All right. I'm sure everyone will enjoy both your entries. I hope we win. But even if I don't, I'm having fun just making my pumpkin princess. That's a very healthy perspective. It's a lesson some bears never learn. Yowie! It's hideous, ghastly. Just a few more finishing touches, and it'll be positively disgusting. Mm, maybe I've gone too far. What if it frightens folks too much? <laughs> then I'll be guaranteed the grand prize. Whoopee! <laughs> Wow, it almost scares me. No doubt about it. You're not just another pretty ugly face. Who's that? Somebody's fooling around in my precious pumpkin patch, trying to steal my pumpkins for the carving contest. Well, we'll see about that. All right, I'm on to you, you, you rotten pumpkin thief. Who dares disturb our evening meditation? Yipe! Oh! Darling, it's just Papa Bear. Or oh, Mr. and Mrs. Bella Bat. What are you doing here? We often hang around your pumpkin patch after dark. Because it's so charming and romantic. I didn't mean to bother you none. You see, I was in my workshop carving my pumpkin and... You're entering the pumpkin contest? You sure am. In fact, I have my entry with me. My, I'm sure you'll win. It's so pretty. Huh? We're supposed to be spooky. Oh, it's really very fine, Mr. Bear. But you must remember, we are professionals. Good luck on the contest. Let's stop off somewhere and grab a bite. No doubt about it. I got me a serious security problem. Mr. and Mrs. Bat weren't out to steal my pumpkins, but somebody else might. This calls for desperate measures. My surefire pumpkin thief snare will catch an intruder in the act. If anyone steps into it, wango! Up he, she, or it goes. It's a sorry state of affairs when you can't even trust your own neighbor. <sighs> Wait till the other bears get a load of my scary pumpkin. That first place trophy is as good as mine. <laughs> I must win at all costs. <laughs> I'll make my pumpkin even spookier. Oh, I created a pumpkin monster. Oh, help! Papa, for goodness sake. They're after me. 
Help! It's a pumpkin monster! A pumpkin monster? Oh, boy! It's after me! Oh, no! Yay! Wing isn't everything. It's the only thing. Oh, big pumpkin carving contest today. Oh, I never, ever want to see another pumpkin. Hi, Papa. Well, Papa, congratulations are in order. Congratulations? Right. We both won prizes. I won for the prettiest pumpkin. And I have the funniest. Aren't you proud of us? The proudest punch. Oh, all I've gotten for my trouble is a headache. How nice. We have visitors. We can't stay long. We don't get out too much in the daytime, you know. Just wanted to read you a poem I wrote. Fair country morals. Here's a little lesson you may not learn at school. Don't try too hard to win the prize, lest you earn the title prize fool. Isn't it marvelous? Well, we must be going. Ta-da! <laughs> Guess your papa is the biggest pumpkin head of all. <laughs>